I had seen this southern character he had done, uh, which is actually his twin brother. Yes, Seth Galifianakis. And I thought it was so funny, and I just selfishly said, I wanna, I wanna do something and piggyback onto to your guy. And I don't know what the movie is, I don't know what the, but we're just, and we both have roots in North Carolina and all this stuff, so we thought, what about just two guys from North Carolina and maybe it's a comedy about small town, uh, uh, you know, two small town friends or two small, I don't, we, we didn't quite know. And we had, we kind of threw it out there and, and it, was, uh, it was actually Adam who said, you know, you know what you guys should do is be two dueling Southern politicians. He's got the great hair. He's got the idyllic looking family, at least on the outside. Um, and he has, been, he has been touted as possibly a VP candidate, which is, which is uh, so hilarious and so symbolic for how high his aspirations go. He just, he knows vice president would be great because it's not that much pressure. You know, you, you get to go to ribbon cutting ceremonies and, <laughs> uh, and big fancy balls, but for the most part, you can just, you just kick back. And, and that, that's the height of his political goals. Raymond Huggins, his father, is a, is a uh, notorious kind of backroom political operative and has worked in, in the state for years. And uh, so he's got the, the name, but he is the black sheep of that family. And, uh, and so they really, have to, they really have to coach him up, so to speak, on how to, to walk the walk and talk the talk of you know, modern politics. Cam Brady is a master of talking about everything and, and talking about nothing all at the same time. Um, there's kind of no there there in a way with Cam. Uh, and, and he's just super polished to where you get in his, his presence and you're locked in, but, but 10 minutes later you realize he didn't say anything that made sense or anything pertinent or anything of substance, and uh, um, and his big his big slogan, which <laughs> it's not a slogan, it's just America, Jesus, and freedom, and that's all you got to worry about. It's kind of the best environment in terms of just uh, obviously trying to make each other laugh is is because there because there truly is. Uh, it's a very funny cast, so if you can do that, it's uh, those are that's almost regardless of whether it's going to make it in the movie or not. <laughs> that's almost the game, more so than delivering the written lines. Uh, but but yeah, I, I mean I've I've kind of uh, like I said, this all this all got started with Zach and I wanting to work. At least I wanted to work with him. I don't know, maybe he maybe he got forced into all this. We've wanted to cast Dylan um, ever since he did a, a, a table read for Step Brothers, and he was so funny. And uh, and uh, another perfect example of being able to cast against type in terms of, um, uh, you know, as you said, you just don't think of Dylan for doing comedy, and yet he's he plays this guy perfectly and is uh, that great kind of very slick political operative who uh, just all of a sudden appears in Marty's house out of nowhere and, <laughs> and in the back of his car.